Hello everyone and welcome to my next Beatles video. Now in this video I will be going over the Tony Sheridan recordings which the Beatles did in, in Hamburg before they became the big band that we know and love today. So these recordings were from early 60s maybe up to about 1962 and they've been issued on a couple of different albums in the UK and I'll be showing those today. Okay, now the first time these recordings appeared on an album in the UK was actually on this LP here, The Beatles First. Now as it says on the cover, these tracks were mainly recorded in Hamburg in 1961. And it's with Tony Sheridan. Let's take a look at the track listing. Now it's got the singles Ain't She Sweet and Cry For A Shadow, which are both fantastic. And Tony Sheridan is the only kind of lead singer on this album, apart from on Ain't She Sweet. John gets a vocal on that one. But the rest of them, Tony Sheridan is the lead singer. However, the Beatles do do some great uh, accompaniment and also some great back and vocals. My Bonnie is my favourite track on this album. That's an absolutely astonishing one. But this has the shorter introduction without all the slow bit on the beginning. Which is a shame to be honest because that's my favourite version. I believe that's known as like the German version. And the one without is the English version. But I might be mistaken there. Yeah so this album mainly comprises of just a few rock and roll standards of the time. Like What I'd Say and Ya Ya etc. But it is actually a really good album. And I really enjoy this album. So anyway, this was released in 1967 in the UK. And it was on the Polydor Special label. On this red label here. Yes, side too. Now, this is the only time it's on this Polydor label. Now, this next version of the album is called The Early Years, and this was released in 1971. Now, you see this one and the version that came after this a lot more than you do the 1967 version. But here's the first pressing of this copy of the album. It has a totally different cover design. I quite like the cover design for this, though. And, as you can see, the track listing is identical to that of the 1967 issue. And here is the label. Now this is on the Contour label. And that's just a UK budget label of the 70s. Very much like Music for Pleasure. You see the same sort of albums on the Contour label normally. So it's quite surprising that the Beatles featured on it. But anyway, as you can see, it's a white and blue label. Although importantly, the perimeter text is in red as is this outline of the box here. That's red, but that will change on the next prison. And here's side two. Again, red perimeter text. And here is the second pressing of this version of the album. Still released in 1971. There is just a minor label difference with this. And it is to do with the colour of the perimeter text which is now changed to blue rather than red along with the outline of the box in the middle there so it's all blue and white now and the vast majority of copies I've seen of this version of the album has this label variation it, it took me quite a while to find one with the red text though it's not really something I would call particularly rare so apart from that little difference, it's exactly the same. Now here is the third version of the album. Now I would say I've seen this copy more than either of the other two variations. Now this copy, although the cover design is largely different, it's still got the newspaper stack there from the previous design. Although of course it's got this whole countryside theme now. And it's on the contour label once again. 
I'll show the back of the sleeve first look. So here's the back of the sleeve. Again, the track is exactly the same. Pretty much the same information on the back as on the last copy. But this time the label has completely changed. It's still on contour, except it's now on the orange label. Orange and black label, actually. Personally, I think I prefer the white and blue version, but you know, it's interesting to see the change. Okay, so here is the second person of this album, which appeared from 1974 until 1976. And this copy goes back to the blue label, which we first saw on the previous version of this album, with the dark cover. There it is, the blue and white contour label. Very different to the orange, of course. I'm not entirely sure why it suddenly went back to blue and white. But here it is, anyway. Alright, now here is the third pressing of this album, which came out about a year or two later. About 1976 to 1978, yeah. And this record looks very, very similar to the first present. However, the matrix numbers are slightly different. There we go. And also, the orange label is just slightly darker than on the original. It is quite hard to see. Now here's something a little more interesting. This is an export copy of this album, which was imported by the USA, and it's got a few more major differences about it. And firstly, it's got the Union flag there, with British import, which wasn't there on any of the previous covers. And also, the label has completely changed. It still has the orange label, However, it, it now just has the Mr. Pickwick logo rather than the Contour logo as well. Left side 2. Now, these export copies are quite difficult to get. And th there is actually a, another version of this which I haven't got. And basically... The only difference is with the British import flag. It's kind of vertical rather than it's it's portrait rather than landscape, if you know what I mean. And also it's only half a flag. And that was um exported to Commonwealth countries rather than America. But I've never actually seen one of those covers. I'm still looking out for that. Okay, so that is the end of this quite short video. Um, I do intend to have some better ones coming up quite shortly. I just needed to get a couple more pieces to finish those off. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you all next time.